Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Jackie YBT, Tech Away, Tech Everything. And today is a special video. Why? Because I purchased a BlackBerry device. This is the BlackBerry Classic. I know, right? BlackBerry, using a BlackBerry phone in 2021. It's kind of crazy, kind of nuts. I'm gonna share you my story and my, my first impression and experience using the BlackBerry Classic. So why I got this suddenly, so sudden in 2021? The story is, one day I was surfing on the internet, you know, I was looking at this uh, shopping website. At that time, I was looking to buy some retro phone, like Nokia Classic dumb phone, because back in those days, when I was a kid, I couldn't afford all those phones, but now I can. So I want to buy it and just to experience it, review it for you guys, make a series like a retro phone review. Yeah, that's my whole intention. And then there was a BlackBerry phone uh, ads like popping out in the shopping website. So I was like, oh, BlackBerry, yeah, a name that very familiar. I heard this name before. Why not I try it out? Because I, I tried Windows phone, I tried Android phone before, and now I'm a iOS user. I will make Windows phone videos for you guys. So stay tuned, subscribe. Yeah, so back to the topic. Then, yeah, what should I buy? Like there's so many BlackBerry device and I have no idea and no knowledge about BlackBerry. So I did some research, looking some videos on YouTube and then found out this YouTuber called Stevelicious. I was shocked that there are so many BlackBerry fans that are still active and still love using their BlackBerry device. So why not? Then I pulled the trigger and got this. So that's my story. Before I start, you may ask why I choose blackberry classic instead of other blackberry device like you know the blackberry brief the android based blackberry device those can get much better support uh, in terms of apps and security updates like uh, key one key two well to answer that question is i to me, a real BlackBerry device is to equip with the BlackBerry proprietary OS, which means their own OS, BlackBerry OS. This is the BlackBerry OS 10.3 point something. Why not the old BlackBerry device running OS 7? Well, those are too obsolete. So I want a BlackBerry phone that can support some apps and also can work with email and other stuff. Uh, not too obsolete. Another thing is I want a BlackBerry phone with a physical keyboard instead of like full touchscreen like the Z10 and the Z30. No, so those are excluded. And also the price, the passport is too expensive. This is okay. I found it on uh, Shopee, not sponsor. But this is the cheapest one that I can get. The Q10 is even more expensive than the Classic in Malaysia. I don't know why. Hence why I choose this BlackBerry Classic. This is second hand. It's not refurbished. It's not brand new. It's not demo set. But the condition of this phone is pretty good. Of course, there are some scratches at the bottom and then the side a bit. But the phone looks pretty much brand new. And I'm really happy about that. And this video won't be too long, like 15-20 minutes long because I just want to focus on the experience and my first impression of using this BlackBerry Classic as the first time BlackBerry user. The first time when I hold this phone, I can feel it quite hefty and I mean it in a good way. It feels premium. The weight doesn't bother me at all. To me, it's a plus point because I don't like my phone to be too light. The construction itself is really good. You know, metal frame and then soft touch rubberized texture at the back. If you look closely, you can see there's some like a waffle texture and feels great. And one thing I like about the button is clicky. There's a special button here. This is the play pause button. So it's very useful when you play music or videos. I like it. I don't get this from other phones. In older BlackBerry devices, you will get like a convenience key, as they say, for you to activate camera but you can also like reprogram to different app. BlackBerry Classic, you don't get that. I kind of miss it because I used Windows Phone before and they will have a dedicated camera button. But that one, you cannot reprogram it. I don't know why they remove it. When you grab this phone, you go outside, it means business. 
people will treat you seriously. Yeah, just by the looks of it when you're like typing, you're sitting down and typing. Second thing, I want to talk about the physical keyboard. To be honest, I type way faster on my iPhone as a virtual keyboard compared to the physical keyboard. But now I do understand why so many people love their physical keyboard. The tactile feeling of this keyboard is really good. I really feel it when I type it. When you press it, that feedback, the tactility of this keyboard is great, it's superb. The size is just big enough. There's quite spacious between each key. Yeah, it's just satisfying to type on this keyboard. I will use this device as my personal note-taking phone. The keyboard even brights up in the dark. Can you see it? Yeah, it's cool man. I really like it. It will detect your surrounding lighting condition. If it's dark, it will bright automatically. Like just now what I did. Just cover the sensor and we'll bright up. Another thing I want to talk about the keyboard is the shortcut key. The keyboard is not just for typing, it also provides some additional feature. Like when you press B, it's bottom. You go the bottom of the content and T, go back up to the top. If you want to delete something, press shift button and you use the trackpad to select many files at the same time and you press X to delete. Yeah, so all those uh, shortcuts that I mentioned is just tip of the iceberg. Really useful feature. I like how BlackBerry implement the shortcut key using the keyboard. So it's not just for typing, it's fully utilized the keyboard. Good job on that, BlackBerry. Gesture. Back in 2014, BlackBerry is doing the gesture style of uh, operating system. At that time, Android and iOS doesn't have the feature like gesture-based feature. That's one of the reasons why this doesn't feel old to me. The design, the way you interact with the OS, still pretty relevant to these days. And you can uh, swipe down to toggle the quick setting, you know, like setting, Wi-Fi, your torch, Bluetooth, you can customize it in the setting apps okay but one thing to me is very weird in order to access the quick toggle you have to go back to the home page in order to access it so if you are in an app let's say remember app when you scroll down okay you scroll down the app setting instead of like the quick toggle you have to go back swipe swipe up and then you go back then you only can toggle the quick setting. I don't know why. This is not how you use the quick toggle in iOS or Android, even Windows Phone. Another thing I like about the BlackBerry OS is the hub. The hub is something really special to the BlackBerry OS. So it's pretty similar to the Windows Phone People's Hub. Basically, BlackBerry Hub consolidates and keep organize all your email, calendar, events, and social notification from apps like Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and other stuff. So this is how they deal with your notification. Everything is combined into one place. That's BlackBerry Hub. I know you see that, oh, why there's a Play Store? You can side load some apps from Play Store, not all, because nowadays all the app support, you need at least like Android 5. So um, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean is pretty obsolete. It's very hard to find apps to support it. But I did find some of the apps to support, yeah, like Messenger Lite, Facebook. I will talk more detail about this apps thing in the next video, so stay tuned. Another signature iconic feature you can find on the BlackBerry device, not just the physical keyboard, is the trackpad. The trackpad, let me tell you, is awesome. When you touch it, you can feel the hum. There's some height over here, so it's not totally flat. I really like the feeling. So you can scroll left to right, right to left, up and down. When you do some um, you know, email reading, you don't want to use your finger to cover up the screen. This screen is 3.5 inches. It's same size as the iPhone 4, 4S, but in a like a one-to-one -one ratio square display. So when you use your finger, it will cover half of the screen. So with the trackpad, scroll down, 
up and down it won't block the screen real estate sometimes it's a lot easier to highlight to select text and to to you know copy and paste or correct it the call button once you press the call button you can activate uh, the phone app and then you can call anyone you want and this blackberry button as a like a side button i would say a side menu back button and then close button just when you press this you close now or you can just use your, your finger to swipe up before i got this phone i already know that this is not really a entertainment device per se it's more like a business type of user will use because of the keyboard the expert ratio when you read the email is very comfortable very convenient but the speaker is good the speaker is damn loud although the bass is kind of mediocre but the loudness the clarity of the speaker is really good and the display 720 times 720p it's not too bad uh, ips display not outlet let me play a video of mine this channel focus on four things tag a bit food, laggy yeah uh, tutorial and processor is quite video. old in today's video i'm gonna unbox and share with you guys my first impression and hands on on this Samsung yeah don't expect the best performance out of this phone it's just you have to put your expectation low this is a device that is six seven years old and with the processor is like nine years old you have to deal with this kind of thing Yes, this the phone speaker. is really one firing speaker at the bottom. That's it. There's no stereo speaker, but it's good enough for that era of phone. So yeah, that's about it, guys. That's my first impression. I really like the OS. Too bad that they, they give up on making hardware. The ring company, RIM, Research in Motion, they give up as a hardware company. Now they go back as a software company. And I know that this year another company called Onwards Mobility. If I'm not mistaken, they will take on and make a brand new BlackBerry lineup, Android based, no more BlackBerry OS. That's some information for you guys, for those who don't know this news. In conclusion, my overall impression of this phone, the whole OS itself is pretty good, favorable. I really like the design. I really like how they implement the shortcut key. The keyboard is awesome. The speaker is loud. Something new to me. Yeah, I just hope that I can join the BlackBerry community earlier instead of like this year i only join it it's better late than never that's all i can say man so that's about it guys thanks for watching remember to click a thumbs up subscribe click the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i upload a new video share it to your friends and family comment down in the comment section below donate to my paper account if you can link down in the description and i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye